never leave me Lord you will never forsake me Your words are yes They are yes And amen Father you will never Ever leave us You say Thank you, Holy Spirit. And you will never, ever leave us. You say, you will never leave us. Lord, you will never forsake us. Your words are yes. They are yes. And amen. Father, every day you will never, ever leave us, you say. That's your word, Lord. You will never, ever leave us, you say. You will never leave us. Father, you will never forsake us. Your words are yes, they are yes, and amen. Lord, we adore you. We exalt you, giving you all the glory and all the adoration. There is no other God like you. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the ancient of days, the miracle-working God, our way maker. We give you all the glory. Just come and tabernacle with us, O oh Lord. Touch us individually and corporately. Just come and sit in this atmosphere. We need you. We need you. I need you. Move in a way like never before. Touch us. Touch us. And speak to us tonight. Meet everyone at the point of his or her need, Lord. May your name be glorified on this platform in the name of Jesus. You will never leave us. Lord, you will never forsake us. Your words are yes. They are yes. And amen. Father, you will never leave and you will never forsake us. Your words are yes. They are yes. And amen. Let your rivers flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let the rivers flow. Let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow from my belly according to your word. Let the rivers flow, let it flow, let it flow. Father, we pray, we pray, we pray. Let the rivers flow, living waters. Living waters, let the rivers flow. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. From my belly, according to your word, let the rivers flow. Let it flow, let it flow. According to your word, according to your word, let the rivers flow. Lord, it is our prayer tonight. Let it flow. Let the rivers flow. According to your word, let the rivers flow. 
living waters flow, living waters flow, living waters flow, according to your word. Let it flow, 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 according to your word. Yes, according to your word. Kayada Bakusaya. May the rivers flow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let the living waters flow. Let it flow. From our belly. From our belly. Let the rivers flow. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow from my belly according to your word. Let the rivers flow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come for the our helper. Comforter, our helper, come and move, come and move from our bellies. Let it flow, let it flow according to your word. Let the rivers flow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Ancient of Days. We give you glory. We give you honor. All the adoration. All the glory. All the worship. We surrender it. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is awesome. God is awesome. I welcome all of you once again to the threshing floor. Thank you so much for coming once again. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much for taking time to come on the threshing floor. I don't take it for granted. Every night, every night, Everyone who is online, I don't take it for granted. May the Lord bless you. And I appreciate everyone who is already online, all the women on the threshing floor, all the visitors, all our special guests. Oh, God. May the Lord bless you. For all the men who are also joining in, all the kids who are joining in, may the Lord bless you. Thank you so much for all of you who have already shared the link. May the Lord, may the Lord bless you for giving your offerings. May the Lord bless you for sharing the posters, the flyers, and the link as you are doing it. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Every blessing that accompanies obedience, that accompanies expanding the gospel, may the Lord give it to you in the name of Jesus. Once again, we thank God for life. We thank God for life. It is because we are alive that we are sitting here. We don't take it for granted. So we give God all the glory for life. We thank God for life to be, to be alive at this moment. May the Lord bless you all. Hallelujah. On behalf of myself and Apostle who is here with me and, and, and Cassius and to me, we just want to say, God bless you. Thank you so much for coming online. And this is the first Friday of the month of July. First Friday of the month of July. And this is a new month. And we have a new theme. Hallelujah. And the theme is my gift 
for his glory. I'm so excited and I hope that I've got women on the line who are excited. And if you can hear me well, uh, just just type it out and say the sound is good. We, we had some challenges with the sound and I just want to make sure that all of you are hearing as well. If you are hearing well, can you just type those of you who are on Zoom, those of you who are on Facebook, if you can just type and say you are hearing me well. May the Lord bless you and the agenda remains the same. Hallelujah. This is the place of separation. As we thresh, every time we thresh, the Lord will separate the good from the bad. And this is the place of judgment. Hallelujah. Every sickness, every delay, every plan of the enemy, every evil agenda, the Lord himself will judge it as we thresh. Hallelujah. And then this is the place of worship. Oh my goodness. I can spend the whole day there. I can spend the whole day just in his presence. That's how sweet it is to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. So we give God all the glory. We are starting with a new theme. Hallelujah. Can you just take your Bible and your notepad and your pen? I, I love it when you come with your notebook so that we can read the word of God together. Thank you so much. Those of you who are joining us from outside Namibia, may the Lord bless you. Everyone who is joining us from Ventuk and all over Namibia, may the Lord bless you. I really appreciate you tonight. So let's go to the word of the Lord. We are reading from uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 10 to 11. Thank you so much. First uh, Peter chapter 4, verses 10 to 11. That is the theme scripture for this month of July. Hallelujah. First Peter chapter 4, verse 10 to 11. And thank you once again for the online ashes as you write out the scriptures. God bless you. I'll read verses 10 and 11. The Bible says, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides so that in all things, God may be praised. I want to repeat that so that in all things, God may be praised so that in all things, God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Father, we give you all the authority. Just come and do what no man can do. You know the women who are online tonight. You know the men who are online tonight. You know their hearts, Christ. You know their issues, Lord God. Tonight I pray that you will speak a word of healing, speak a word of comfort, speak a word of, of, of rebuke, speak a word of correction, speak a word Lord God, that will bring someone in alignment. Speak a word of salvation, that a soul will be saved tonight, Lord God. Speak a word like only you can. And Lord, once we are done tonight, we want to point back to you and say, indeed, we have been in a meeting with you. Father, once you are done doing what only you can do, please take the glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we give God all the glory and we just pray that you will take charge over the atmosphere of your house, that there will be no hindrance, that you will hear the word of God the way it is coming out and that you will take this word for yourself. The message tonight is entitled, My Gift for His Glory. That is the theme for this month. My Gift for His Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. That is the title of the message tonight. Now, if you are a regular uh, on, on the threshing floor and, and the platform, and if you are a member of women on the threshing floor, and especially if you have attended the camp meetings, you will realize that you, you, you will realize that the themes from April, which is the month of growth, hallelujah, which is the month of growth and, and the theme of May, which is uh, uh, which was focused on Jesus, 
And then the theme of June, which was serving the Lord with gladness. And now July, the, my gift for his glory. You will realize that almost uh, it's it's almost as if we are taking chapters out of a book and that these are, are different chapters of a book. And, and this was, however, not planned because before the meetings, before the the. Oh, the during the month or before the end of the month, I always go back to the Lord to ask, Father, what is the theme for next month? What would you want me to speak to your daughters? And then every theme that you see is a theme that the Lord has given to us. So this month, however, will be a little special and different. Hallelujah. It will be a little special and different. And this month will be very practical. Hmm. Let me repeat that. This month will be very practical. Uh, we, we, we have learned in the past three months and, and we came to the camp and the Lord has, has, has shaped some of us and the Lord has given some of us some words and, and some of us were, were, were put on fire during the camp. And this month, this month, this, this Friday will be the only Friday that I will be alone on the threshing floor. Starting from next week, Friday, you will see different women, hallelujah, that the Lord is using to, and, and, and whose gifts the Lord wants to use for his, his glory. And I'm, I'm super ex excited about what the Lord will do starting from tonight and throughout this month. We will see that the investments, hallelujah, of the last three months and the investments during the camp, the Lord will use his daughters to come and bless us all with their gifts. And tonight I'm just here to lay a foundation about the month as usual. And, and, and I'm so excited about about this month, I, I can almost pick it up that the Lord wants to do great things once again in our lives. And this month we say is my gift for his glory. Hallelujah. Now in the scripture that we read in, in 1 Peter chapter 4 verses 10, the Bible says each of you should use whatever gift. Hallelujah. Every one of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. Gifts are received from the Lord. So he says, each one of you should give, should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. And then it says, as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. So it's clear that every one of us has received a gift, but it says serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace. Now, last month we dealt with serving others and we, we, we dealt in detail with what it is to serve. But the word of God that stands out in this verse tonight is faithful stewards of God's grace, faithful stewards of God's grace. Now, what is a steward? What is a faithful steward? Now, the word steward or a person when you are called steward, it means someone who manages or someone who looks after someone else's property. <laughs> it's not yours. It's not, you did not buy it. But when you are called a steward, it means you are looking after something that does not belong to you. Something that has just been given to you. You can be given it to, to make use of it. But at the end of the day, it does not belong to you. It has been given to you to look after. That is what a steward is. Is, which means the gifts that we are given, hallelujah, the gifts that we are given are actually not ours and it was given to us to serve, but as stewards we will be given, we will have to give an account of the gifts that were given to us. 
we will give an account on the gifts as to how we have used them or we will give an account as to whether we have actually used them and we were redeemed for a purpose might i repeat that one we were redeemed for a purpose there is a reason why you and i came to the knowledge of christ the bible says no man comes to the lord unless the holy spirit draws him to the lord so there are many men whom the holy spirit has been speaking to hallelujah which never gave attention but the bible says no man no man at all comes to the lord unless the spirit of the lord draw such a man so there is a reason why you and i have obeyed the holy spirit in drawing us to himself we were redeemed for a purpose and the purpose mainly is to bring souls to the kingdom the purpose mainly is to win souls and to expand the kingdom of god and i've labored extensively on this issue during the camp hallelujah so i will pack that day now as faithful stewards who have been blessed and who have been gifted by god there are areas in which we will have to give an account one day there might be many areas but tonight i want to focus only on four areas in which we will have to give an account as people who were blessed and people who were gifted by the Lord because this is the month in which the Lord wants us to say my gift for his glory my gift for his glory hallelujah so I want to go through this four areas and once I'm done with the four areas I will also be using my gift hallelujah for his glory I will spend some time in worshiping the king of kings together with you so there are areas in which we are gifted and there are gifts that we have received from the Lord for which we will one day have to give an account and I said I want to focus on four areas tonight gift number one is the gift of time all of us have been given the gift of time and i want to read from the book of ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 to 18 and i'm reading from the amplified ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 to 18 the bible says therefore see that you walk carefully living with honor purpose and courage, shunning those who tolerate and enable evil, not as unwise, but as wise, sensible, intelligent, discerning people. Verse 16 says, making the very most of your time on earth, making the very most of your time on earth which is recognizing and taking advantage of each opportunity and using it with wisdom and diligence may the lord bless the person who wrote the amplified bible i want to read again verse 16 it says making the very most of your time on earth recognizing and taking advantage of each opportunity and using it with wisdom and diligence because the days are filled with evil and then in verse 17 it says therefore do not be foolish and thoughtless but understand and firmly grasp what the will of the lord is do not get drunk this is verse 18 do not get drunk with wine for that is wickedness it is corruption it is stupidity. This is the word of God. But be filled with the Holy Spirit and constantly be guided by him. I want to repeat verse 18 again. It says, do not get drunk with wine for that is wickedness, corruption, stupidity, but be filled with the Holy Spirit and constantly guided by him. Time is a gift. And the Bible says, make good use of it. Take 
advantage of every opportunity and use it with wisdom and with diligence. This is not the time to get drunk according to the scripture. This is not the time to get drunk with wine, which is the Bible calls corruption and stupidity. Father, help us tonight. This is the time to be filled with the Holy Spirit and be guided by the Holy Spirit constantly. This is not the time to sleep and wake up and eat and bath and dress and go out purposeless, hallelujah, purposelessly. Make use of every opportunity because time is a gift. One day we will have to give an account for this time that we are using and that we have been given as a gift. One day we will have to stand before the master and share how we made use of the time that we were given as a gift. Use it wisely. Make use of every opportunity. Number two, the gift of our bodies. We have been given these bodies as a gift. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20. The Bible says, do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. The scripture says, don't you know are you not aware? Do you not know that your bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, who resides in you, who lives in you, whom you have received from the Lord as a gift? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. And then it says, honor God with your bodies. Now, if there is a command, there will be a reckoning. The word says, don't you know? Are you not aware that this body that you are carrying is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Your body is hosting the Holy Spirit whom you receive from the Lord. You are not your own. What are the things that you are doing with your body? If your body could talk tonight, what are the things, my brother, my sister, that you are doing with your body? When no one is watching, when no one is away, what are the things that you are doing with your body that is hosting the Holy Spirit? Let me not labor that much. The Bible says, honor God with your body, meaning whatever you do with your body, let it honor God, the gift for his glory, the gift for his glory. Number three, the gift of resources. The gift of resources. In the book of Matthew chapter six, verses 24. Matthew chapter six, verses 24. The Bible reads, no one can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon, which is, you cannot serve God and money. You cannot serve God and possessions. You cannot serve God and fame. You cannot serve God and status. You cannot serve God and whatever is valued more than the Lord. You cannot serve God in money. Now, as faithful stewards, we have all received from the Lord. And the reason why he gave us resources was so that we could serve him and so that we could expand the kingdom. And he says, you cannot serve God and money. It's either Oh, it's either you serve God or it's either you serve the money. And how do you know as a human being that you have now become a person who serves money? 
when it becomes too difficult for you to release for the gospel, when it becomes too difficult for you to expand the kingdom of God with the resources that he has given you, that is the, in, that is the indication that you have now started serving Mammon, Father, help us tonight. When you start looking at scriptures to validate your stinginess, when you start looking at scriptures to validate your withholding from the kingdom of God, that is an indication that you have now started serving Mammon. When you know what you need to give, but you give below your level of your blessedness, if I can put it that way. And you give just as a ritual, not as an act of obedience. When you give below what the Lord has given to you, when you give below the standard, just as a token of, let me just give because I want my name to be recorded. That is an indication that you have started to serve mammon and not God. Your gift should be used for his glory. And lastly, number four, the gifts of talents and abilities. The gift of talents and abilities. These are the gifts that the Lord has given to us to give him glory. The gift of talents and abilities in the book of Romans chapter 12, verses six. Romans 12, Verse 6, and I want to read. The Bible says, I will read from verse 6 to 8. The Bible says, since we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, each one of us is to use them accordingly. If someone has the gift of prophecy, let him speak a new message from God to his people in proportion to the faith possessed. <laughs> Verse 7, if serving in the act of serving, or he who teaches in the act of teaching, or he who encourages, verse 8, in the act of encouragement, he who gives with generosity, he who leads with diligence, he who shows mercy in caring for others with cheerfulness. Hallelujah. The Bible says we have been given different gifts according to the grace of God that works in us. And he says those with the gift of prophecy speak a new word, a new message from God to his people. And this is the message of God to his people from the Lord through me to you. And he says, use your gift for my glory. Those with the gift of service, he says, serve. Those with the gift to teach, he says, teach well. Those with the gift to encourage, please rise up because we need Barnabases of this time. We need encouragers of this time. He says, those with the gift of encouragement, encourage because the nations are in depression. Those with the gift of giving, give generously. Those were the gift to lead. He says, lead with diligence. Those were the gift of mercy. He says, show mercy, care for others with cheerfulness. Hallelujah. I don't know, but it seems the Lord is amplifying this message. One message in different ways, just so that someone can grasp the message and rise up and do what he or she has been called to do. And it is that he or she should use the gift that the Lord has given him or her for his glory. I believe that the Holy Spirit has been speaking to someone as usual. I believe that the Holy Spirit has been ministering to someone already, that your time needs to be brought, hallelujah, in alignment, that you are not using your time, hallelujah, the way that you are supposed to be using. I believe for someone, the Lord is saying, you are busy destroying your body. You are busy destroying the body that I've given to you as a gift. I need your body for my glory. You need to adjust the way that you are doing things. You need to adjust your habits. Some of you need to start eating differently. Hallelujah. I believe the Holy Spirit has already started me ministering to someone. Some of you need to start taking some workouts. Hallelujah. Some of you need to stop sex outside of marriage. Masuka Namahaya. Some of you need to stop drinking the wine 
oh yes it is last and 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 you you justified it and you say no i'm just taking a glass of wine after the meal and that is just the terminology that you are using to justify the last of the flesh of the flesh and the holy spirit i believe is talking to you and saying you need to to use the body that i've given to you for my glory for some of you the lord has been speaking to you about your resources you are blessed and yet at the end of the month you can't even see any results because you are not honoring the lord the way that he needs to be honored you have start serving mammon you put your trust in money you put your trust in your bank account and the lord is calling you back to trust him and to use your resources for his glory. We don't serve God differently because it is locked down. He is a God inside of lockdown and a God outside of lockdown. We don't start adjusting our ways of serving God simply because it is locked down. We honor God irrespective of the time and the season. So I believe that the Holy Spirit has been ministering to you in these four areas. Some of you need to adjust and the Lord is speaking to you about your time, about your resources, about your body. The Lord is speaking to you. And he says, use your gifts to give me glory. And I want to give someone time tonight. I want to give someone time just to speak to your father. I want you to come before his throne tonight and just lay down yourself and say, Lord, I've realized I've not used my time wisely. I know I've been praying and I know that the Lord has given this message and this theme. So I know tonight that if, even if it is just for one person that I've been saying tonight who says, this message is for me. I need to adjust my time. This message is for me. I need to use my body to give him glory. This message is for me. Hallelujah. I need to use my resources wisely. This message is for me. I need to use my gifts wisely. I know that there is someone online tonight who would say, yes, Lord, I hear you. This is my message. If you are one of those people, why don't you come to him tonight and just pray and say, Lord, I hear you speaking to me tonight and I'm here at your feet to adjust my ways of doing things. I believe the spirit of the Lord is speaking to someone tonight. This message is in no way intended to condemn you. No. When the Holy Spirit speaks, he speaks to correct our behavior. When the Holy Spirit speaks, he speaks because he wants us to do what is right. The Bible says, whom the Lord loves, he chastises. It is the sons and the daughters that he loves that he corrects. And if this age this message is an aina for you tonight. Then I want you to come to him tonight and say, Lord, forgive me. If he has been speaking to you once and twice and thrice, it means that you have perhaps not been listening or it means perhaps you have not been adjusting enough or well enough. That is why he's coming again to say, I want you to use your gift for my glory, your time for my glory, your talents for my glory, your body for my glory, your resources for my glory. And in the book of John 3, 16, for somebody, he says, I have given my son to you as a gift and you have not yet received the gift. And tonight I want to come and plea with you. If you are online and you have been following these messages, you even comment, you like, and you share the link, but you have not prayed the sinner's prayer. I want to beg you tonight, would you give your life to the Lord? Would you surrender your life to him? This is by far the most important time of every message. This is by far the, 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 the climax of my messages to call somebody, to beg somebody to just give his or her life to the King of Kings. If this is you, I want you to pray with me tonight and, and say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you. Say, Jesus, forgive me all my sins and my trespasses. Say, Jesus, I believe you are Lord. You died and you rose again for me. Today I declare that I am a child of God. Say, I will serve you all the days of my life. Amen.
and amen. May the Lord bless you. For everyone who has prayed that prayer, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. And I pray that the Lord will seal you with his Holy Spirit, that you will not be lost in this world in the name of Jesus, that you will serve him all the days of your life. Please, if you don't mind, just send me an inbox and let me know when you pray this prayer. If you have prayed this prayer from the bottom of your heart, can you send me a message so that I can pray with you tonight? And I hope that someone is still at the feet of Jesus. I hope that someone is still saying, Jesus, help me to adjust my time. Help me to adjust my body. Help me to adjust my resources. Help me to serve you with the gifts that you have given to me. I want to use my gifts for your glory. I want you to pray, women of God. I want you to pray, men of God. I want you to look at your life tonight. Look at the way that you are spending your time. Look at the way that you are spending your money, your resources. Look at the way that you are spending your gifts. If it needs adjustment, I just want you to come to the Lord and say, Lord, I surrender to you. Hallelujah. I am he. I've gone astray. I'm coming back, Lord, to you. Lord, I am he. I've gone astray. I'm coming back. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, to you. Father, take my hands. Lord, take my life. Lord, I surrender. I'm coming back. Father, take my hands, take my life, I surrender, I'm coming back. You know, when, 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 when this song came in my spirit, I was already born again. I was already in ministry. But there was a time that I just felt overwhelmed by everything that was happening. And then as I stood in the bathroom, in the shower, I realized that I've gone astray in my mind. I've been doing things, you know, for the sake of doing it. And I needed to come back to that relationship where it is just about me and the Lord. And then when I thought about that, this song just came on my lips and I, I tried to sing and I left up my hands in the shower and I said, Lord, take my hands, take my life. Father, I surrender. I'm coming back. Take my hands. Take my life. I surrender. I'm coming back. If you feel that way, can you just make it your prayer tonight and say, Lord, take my hands, take my life. Oh, yes, we can easily go astray in our minds. We can easily go astray in the way we do things. We can easily go astray in our faith. And that is why we come back to say, take my hands, take my hands. Lord, take my life. I surrender, I'm coming back to you, and take my hands, take my life, I surrender, I'm coming back. May the Lord bless you as you are coming back. And if there's anyone tonight online who is going through any sickness or any pain, there is anyone who feels my heart is sore, I'm wounded, I feel pain in my heart, in my emotions. If there's anyone who feels I feel sick, I speak healing over your body. I speak healing over your mind. I speak healing over your life. I speak healing over your emotions. I speak healing over everything that is not 
not in alignment. I command it to come in the default that the Lord has made it to be. And I'm asking you to believe. Hallelujah. There are times that we want to see things. We want to see before we believe. Oh yes, I was there. There was a time, some time back that I had an unexplainable headache. And I came to the Lord. I said, Lord, take away this pain. And the Lord told me, I have healed you. And when he said that, the pain was still there. And I was saying, Lord, but you said you healed me. And I could hear the Lord where the Lord was saying to me, blessed are those who believe without saying. Blessed are those who believe without saying. So your faith level needs to rise up. When I heard the Lord say that, I sang a song to him from the bottom of my heart. And I said, Lord, I believe. In the Father, I believe. In the Son, I believe. In the Holy Spirit, I believe. I believe. I believe. In you, Father, I believe. In the Son, I believe. In the Holy Spirit, I believe, I believe. He's a God of integrity. He's a God of faithfulness. He will never disappoint. Everyone who believes in him, he's a God of integrity. He's a God of faithfulness. That's why I believe. Oh, yes, I believe. And after some time, that pain left me. And I'm asking you tonight, believe in the Lord. Believe that he has healed you. I declare that you are healed. Believe that you are healed. Do what you could not do before. You are healed. I declare that you are healed. He's a God of integrity. He's a God of faithfulness. He will never disappoint. Everyone who believes in him. He's a God of integrity. He's a God of faithfulness. That's why I believe. Oh, yes, I believe. And then on a certain day, the Lord was just too good to me. He just showed up and I could feel him all around me. And I could, all I could do in that time was just to worship him. It, he, he just came through for me and I just lifted up my hands. And all I could do was just to say, Father, you are, you are the king, king of kings. And you are the great I am, great I am, great I am. Father, Father, you are, you are the King, King of kings. And you are the great I am, great I am, great I am. And you are awesome and mighty, my God, you reign, you are awesome and mighty, my God, you reign, and you are the great I am, great I am. I, I used to sing in a band before I came to the Lord. <laughs> I used to sing in a worldly band before I came to know the Lord. But there was a time that my life was in a mess. And before knowing him, I cried out to the Lord and I said, Lord, if you save me, I will sing for you. 
I said, Lord, if you save me from this mess, I will sing for you. So every time I sing, I am paying my vow. I am using my gift for his glory. If you get blessed in the meantime, it is a bonus. But it is mostly to give my vow to the Lord that I made on that day that if you save me, I will sing for you. So every time I open my mouth and every time I sing to the Lord, it is to say, I am paying my vow and I'm honoring my vow. Hallelujah. And so when I said, you are awesome and mighty, my God, you reign. It's my vow. It's my gift for his glory. Lord, you reign. You reign. And you are the great I am. Great I am. Great I am. And then on some day, he just came through again. And then he made roads where I thought it was over. He just came through and then just opened the way. And then all I could do again was to sing to him and say, You're making roads in my wilderness and rivers in my desert. You're making roads, oh Lord. I am glad, Father, you making roads in my wilderness and rivers in my desert. You making roads, oh Lord, I am glad. Hallelujah. This is my gift for his glory. Every time I sing, it is to pay my vow. These songs are not yet recorded, not as yet. You only hear them on Abundant Life Ministries and Women on the Threshing Floor. This is my gift for his glory. I use this to pay my vow and to honor my vow. And as I said, if in the meantime you get blessed, I give him all the glory. I give him all the honor, but it is to pay my vow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, you're making roads in my wilderness and rivers in my desert. You're making roads. Oh, Lord, I am glad. My gift for his glory, a faithful steward given gifts so that one day you will bring it to the Lord and say, Lord, this is my gift. I used it to give you glory. I used my time, my resources, my gifts and my talents, my body to bring you glory. What is your gift, women of God? What is your gift, men of God? What are you doing with your gift? May you use your gift to give him the glory. May your gift not be on the shelf and get rusted. Dust off your gift. Hallelujah. In this month, can you use your gift for his glory? Can you use your gift, whatever it is, for your glory? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord honor you as you are using your gift to bring him glory. God bless you. I love you so much. And thank you once again for coming online. I believe that I have women online tonight who will say this message was for me. And I feel blessed tonight. And I will use, I'm challenged to use my gift for his glory without shame. If I've got a woman online who says this message was for me, I thank God for your life. Thank you so much. And I thank you so much that you have come online. Please, this month, join me, especially next week, as two or three women will come online to use their gifts for the glory of the Lord on the threshing floor. And I sincerely hope that tonight's message was for you and that you will dust off your gift 
for his glory. And if so, I want to take time. I want you to take time just to pray for me before you leave. I want you to take time just to pray for me, pray for my husband, pray for my children. If this ministry, women on the threshing floor is a blessing, if abandoned life is a blessing, if mentality shift is a blessing, I want you to take some time and just to pray for us. We need your prayers every day. Hallelujah. So take some time and just pray for us tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Kings. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so, so much for once again coming online. Thank you for all of you who are sharing the links. Thank you for all your comments. Trust me, I do read all the comments, every single one of them. We do read them and we give God all the glory. It is an encouragement to us to see how the Lord is moving every night. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. Thank you for sharing the links. And I want to invite you Sunday, if you don't have a place of worship online, please do join us online Sunday. Our services are at 11 o'clock every Sunday and we are 100% online during the season. May the Lord bless you. Use your gift for his glory. Be a faithful steward of that which the Lord has given to you. God bless you. I love you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it brings me joy. Father, you're making roads in my wilderness. And rivers in my desert, you're making roads. Oh Lord, I am blessed. You're making roads. Oh Lord, I am blessed.